What is going on YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another video. So last night at 11.59 p.m., EA ended up shutting down NBA Live Mobile. The game is in maintenance currently right now. The official release of NBA Live Mobile Season 4 will be tomorrow. Now, there's not an official time that it's going to be released. Sometimes it releases first on Android. Sometimes it releases first over on iOS. So we just got to keep on refreshing the game until the game actually updates dates in the apple store or the google play store i'm extremely hyped i'm going to be doing a video right when the game drops and we're going to be streaming all that good stuff so definitely stay tuned for that the game will be dropping tomorrow october 15th all right so um before we do actually um get into the video i want to let you guys know that you know if you guys don't know this already i am doing a 100 nba live mobile season 4 giveaway so if you guys haven't entered that giveaway make sure to check out the top link in the description go ahead and enter the giveaway five different winners will be getting 20 dollars uh, worth of NBA cash going into season four. Those winners will be chosen this Saturday. So definitely um, enter the giveaway if you guys haven't already. Let's try to smash a thousand likes on this video. You guys already know. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a couple EA Game Changer videos, um, talking about the first promos that we're going to be getting here in NBA Live Mobile Season 4 so that we're going to be um, ready and um, so that we're going to see, you know, what we're getting ourselves into, you know what I'm saying? So the first video we're going to be looking at is Noob Kills video. He did drop this video two days ago. He's going to be talking about the tip-off campaign, so I'm going to go through it with you guys, and I'm going to leave, leave you guys uh, my thoughts on how I feel about it. So yeah, make sure to click that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, follow me on Instagram, my Instagram link is down below. All right, so this original video is going to be down in the description, all right? Check out Noob Kill, one of the uh, EA game changers, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's get it. We're going to make this a little bit bigger, actually, like that. All right, let's go. To get some of the players and stuff like that. Or All right, so right off the bat, it's looking like it's a point-based promo. EA. Come on, bruh. They did point-based promos all throughout Season 3. I thought EA was going to come in with something different, but it's looking like um, they're starting things off with the point-based promos right here. So it looks like um, one of the Masters is an 82 overall, Kristoff Porzingis, and you guys already know with the point-based promos, you go through, and with the, uh, you know, with the amount of points that you get, you get certain rewards. So it looks like once you hit 19,000 points, you get the 79 overall. Once you hit 24,000, you get this token. Um, it looks like there's some blitz events up here. There is a warm-up event right here that will cost probably 50 warm-up points. Um, so it looks like we're, they're bringing back the uh, warm-up points and all that stuff. So let's just watch it a little bit and let's see what's popping. Some of the, um, the currency of how much the currency will be to get some of the players and stuff like that or maybe the payout of some live looks like another tip off master is an 82 paul Millsap. so right here it's saying that we're going to need to earn 120,000 tip off points to select master so we'll be able to select either porzingis either Millsap. it looks like both of these masters are power forwards i really wish they would have made it to where it's like a point guard shooting guard or a small forward maybe you know starting off the year with power forwards I'm just not really a big fan of that. All right, let's keep on watching, though. Events uh, could be less, could be more. Um, just take everything with a grain of salt, of course, guys, that this is an early... Draymond Green also right here. It looks like we got different um, play styles now. I don't know what that is. Because um, in Season 3, we had uh, shooting, we had defensive, we had balanced, we had um, street, and then we had... Um, I think that was it right yeah i think we had four i think we had four of them right here i don't know what this symbol is but it is looking like something different we build um but it's awesome that i can go ahead and give you guys this showcase so obviously tip off um is gonna be the, one of the first campaigns inside of the game and you guys can see that we do have like a progression system with of course um these tip off points is i believe what they're called um so i kind of messed up i went ahead and bought a pack just to, just to test something out and I'm all the way up to um, 16,000 of these tip-off points. And 19,000, we will get an Alexander Walker right here. Yeah, so this is the exact same setup that they had in Season 3, where you can get some of these players throughout the promo. You can throw these players into the lineup, and then they'll give you a percentage boost to the amount of tip-off points you get. 
let's take a look at these masters though you know what i'm saying so uh draymond green is the first one he's looking at right here so looking at his stats um they do have they did add a lot more stats into the game hopefully you can actually see these stats during the gameplay because a lot of the times back in season three season two season one they would have these crazy stats but they'll still be missing shots or you know for example the three-point god shaquille o'neal would have like 58 three-pointer but you guys already saw my gameplays that dude's a three-point god bro so hopefully these stats actually matter in the game looking at draymond green he does have 86 strength 86 tipping okay um 80 layup uh 84 on ball defense but look at all these other stats we got there's vertical there's quickness first step dribble speed there is a uh, free throw there's a free throw stat that's pretty sick shooting touch shot off dribble you know what i'm saying so i do not like this card art all right because it's going to be a pain a pain cutting these cards out for thumbnails it's not going to be fun i don't like this card art at all i, I really wish they just kept you know the nice smooth rectangle bro now there's all these like ah, i just don't like it bro i don't like this card art it's going to be a pain cutting these cards out for thumbnails but yeah man the second master right here is an 82 paul Millsap. um he has 82 strength 80 vertical uh 79 shot off dribble 79 contested so yeah uh, the Millsap only has two stats above 80 uh draymond green is looking way better than Millsap for being honest here because green had a couple of uh 86 overall stats yeah with the 86 tip in 86 strength so yeah i'd probably take draymond green i really want to figure out what this play style is i'm gonna have to figure that out all right we got porzingis now porzingis has 83 first step 80 vertical 82 tip in 80 defensive rebounding 88 free throws so if your boy porzingis gets fouled then um he's going to be making him free throws 80 contested 85 shooting touch so it's really between porzingis and draymond porzingis is looking real nice to be honest to be honest all right all right we're just going to click through this you know what i'm saying like i said you guys can check out the original video so right here looks like um we got some objectives all right uh collectors first find finish sets to earn players and customization join a league complete all welcome objectives that'll get you some stuff it's really set up just like season uh three um where you get the warm-up points as well um they can use for events and stuff like that um you do get free nba cash for doing your daily objectives so do your daily objectives that's how you can get this nba cash for free all right, so right here, um, he's doing some gameplay. Let's take a look at the gameplay real quick. See if gameplay looks different. I know QJB did a video a couple of days ago showing off the gameplay. Let's take a look at yeah, it real quick. Let's jump quick. into this gameplay, guys. Let's go ahead and check it all out. So here we go. Let's go ahead and pass the ball out. So yeah, not too bad. The game looks... Uh, artwork design looks this a little similar, but a lot cleaner. Oh. But, oh man, that... Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, I got to get the timing. I got to get the timing. I shot that a little too early. But it feels pretty smooth playing this game and stuff okay okay drogic just hits that shot right away all right what do we got to do to get a big man slam let's get in the paint let's get in the paint slow motion layup is he gonna block two yo the gameplay is the same that's that's all we need to that's all we need to know here the graphics the gameplay is just all the same ea i, I don't know when they're going to make updates to the gameplay they're probably not i know there is pick and rolls qj qjb did make a video talking about the pick and roll so that's good you know what i mean you're able to uh, call for pick and rolls that's the only gameplay change that i've seen so far but it looks like right here um so they had this in season three where like if you get a certain amount of stars in the event you could get more points towards the promo it looks like they brought that back here with this uh, warm-up event where if you get three stars you get 1250 points two stars you get a thousand tip off points one star you get 750 once the promo does come out i will do a full breakdown seeing if we can get something no money spent you guys already know here's the store the store is set up you know the exact se let me clean my eyes real quick bruh 10,000 cash for an 82 i better not catch any of you guys spending that much for an 82 y'all better not be doing that all right y'all better not be doing that but yeah it looks like the store is set up just like season three where you can um you know buy some of these cash offers right here i'm um, spend actual money that'll give you um you know a certain amount of points same setup as season three um what is this right here item selected uh superstar shard select so they do got these events right here 
let's back up a little bit um oh he's opening up packs okay let's let's scroll back here because um with these superstar players you can get these superstar shards with these events over here you can play these events and you can get some shards for um the superstar player that you want to upgrade you use the superstar shards to upgrade your superstar players so it looks like they got some events that you can play that would allow you to do that so i went with Dave. i'm probably going to go davis on um I might go MB. I'm either I'm going Davis on my no money spin account, and then I'm probably gonna go MB on my main account. That's probably what I'm gonna do. I don't know yet though. We'll see. We'll see when the game actually drops. All right. Bonus tier. All right. So it looks like he um, completed the promo right here. You're able to select which master that you want. Me personally, it's either going to be Porzingis or Draymond Green. It looks like Porzingis can shoot better, and you want power forwards that can shoot. Um, I still want to figure. I think. Um, I think this symbol is shooting, if I'm not mistaken. I think this will be shooting. Oh, no, no, no. It might be defensive, honestly. Defensive, street, and shooting. I don't know, bro. We'll have to wait and see, bro. We'll have to wait and see because I really don't know what those are. But, yeah. So, basically, right here, there's coins. Is that 100K? What is this red thing right here? Is that 25K? I don't know, bro. It looks like those are coin quick sells. Hold on. Let's take a look real quick. It looks like those are coin quick sells. Oh, it looks like you can get um, arenas. Legendary player. Okay, we got legendary collectibles. Stadium, the elite stadium. Actually, what is this? That's a lot of coins. 100,000 coins. Oh. So those are coins. So it looks like they're doing the coins a lot different. I don't like the way they did these cards. Like, I don't like the shape of these cards. Um, I'm going to have to get used to it, though, because I'm not really used to uh, the cards looking like that. So it looks like these are coin quick sells right here, legendary player collectibles. So it looks like um, those are gonna be you know collectibles that go into legend sets. So yeah, man, there's the first promo we're getting in the season. We got the tip off campaign. It's looking like a season three campaign. I'm not even gonna lie. Hopefully, um, you know, as the season four of NBA Live Mobile progresses, hopefully we can get more variety in the um, campaigns you know what i mean like give us campaigns that give us collectibles give us campaigns that you know could trade in collectibles for like elite players you know give us something that resembles you know promos back in season one and season two you know what i mean because i'm tired even though these point based promos are good they're very grindable it's just we want to see something different all right so we're going to check out one more game changer video shout out to my boy ski games he is another ea game changer i recommend you guys going ahead and subscribing to him i'm gonna leave his uh, video link down below so yeah i'm gonna switch over to video and i'll be right back all right guys so we're over here um on ski games this video like i said he only has 421 subscribers very underrated my man's got a face cam and everything bro this dude's the homie he's been pulling up in the streams i'm subscribed to him bro you guys can see i got my notification bell on all right go subscribe to my boy ski games turn the notification bell on this dude is super cool so in this video he's going to be going over the live pass campaign all right superstar 78 overall Giannis. so i want to see what this live pass is you know what i'm saying so let's go ahead and get into it i'm bringing you a preview to season four of nba live mobile huge thanks to ea and the ea game changes program for allowing me and the other game changers to bring you guys some new content coming up in the new season of NBA Live Mobile. I myself am going to be focusing on a brand new campaign that's going to be coming out called Live Pass. So let's take a look real quick at what Live Pass is. Complete specific goals before December 15th for each lineup type to receive rewards. Rewards. I don't know why I was saying it. To receive rewards. You can earn exclusive courts jerseys team boosts players and more for each goal completed once you complete all 40 goals you will unlock a new superstar the purchase the live pass to unlock even more rewards for each goal you complete so if you might have seen some of the other guys uh of the other game changers videos they introduce um the four lineups that are going to be in the game at launch we're going to go through it um right now specifically so it's going to be sharpshooter uh, let's take a look actually let's see if we can go in here yes all right this is what i wanted to know okay this is what i wanted to know the four different lineup types so there's going to be the franchise lineup now I'm, I'm assuming that this franchise is going to be the multi-year lineup where you can use your season three team to play certain events that's what i'm assuming so it looks like the orange circle i was kind of close all right 
I said it was shooting. So apparently they got different names now. So the orange circle is the sharpshooter lineup. The blue is a lockdown. So I said it was defensive. I was close. All right. So the blue is defensive and the red is the street. So four different lineups, franchise, sharpshooters, lockdown and street. All right. Let's go ahead and go through. So here's a 78 overall Giannis. You know what I'm saying? A superstar. So, all right. So live pass. So it says you complete specific goals before December 15th for each lineup type to receive rewards. All right. You can earn exclusive courts, jerseys, team boosts, players, and more for each goal completed. All right. And once you unlock all 40 goals, you unlock a new superstar. So it looks like this whole live pass thing is just objectives, all right? It's not like an actual promo or anything like that. It just looks like, you know, you complete a whole bunch of objectives for the different lineup types, and then you get rewards from doing that. And if you complete every single goal, you get to choose another superstar, all right? So you guys already know, once the draft happens tomorrow, once we're able to select which superstar we want, all right? you can only choose one okay you can only choose one but then after you complete all of the live pass objectives for each lineup before december 15th you'll be able to choose a new one so say i chose Embiid on my main account right but i also want like john morant or i also want anthony davis once i complete all of the live pass uh, objectives then i'll be able to choose davis as well so i'll have two superstars instead of one and you guys already know these superstar players come with special abilities as you level them up so that's really good right there let's go ahead and continue all right so here are some of the live pass objectives okay um, let's scroll back a little bit all right campaign expires in seven weeks and four days so that's what that's uh december 15th is what i'm assuming so right here here's some right here so reach 72 overall with your sharpshooter uh lockdown and street lineups all right so that'll that's one objective right there spend thirty thousand stamina there's another one complete 25 sets log in three different days win 250 live events power up what Wait, let me. Power up superstars 60 times any superstar. Collect 100 elite items. So you guys can see it's just a whole bunch of different, whole bunch of different objectives that um, you have to complete, all right? And as you complete these objectives, you do get items. So uh, Ski Games went with the superstar Giannis. So he's getting a bunch of shards for the Giannis. But say I chose Embiid, then I would be getting some Embiid shards, you know what I mean? So yeah, there's all, there's all of the objectives right there, you know what I mean? Once you complete all 40, um, you do end up, uh, you know, being able to choose another superstar now there is a live pass that you can buy which will unlock more objectives let me see if he goes to the store real quick to see how much that live pass does cost uh, let me see Let's scroll through here so it looks like he's just a uh, live pass pack so it looks like he's just going through all of the stuff right there. But yeah, man, with each lineup, there's going to be a bunch of different objectives that you're going to, that you're going to have to do. I'm assuming that it's going to be 10 different ones for each lineup since there's four different lineups. And that'll total up to 40 total objectives right there. I'm trying to figure out how much this live pass costs. I don't think he goes to the store at all. But yeah, man, if you guys want the extra rewards, um, I'm pretty sure that the live pass is going to cost like cash. Same with like last season, like during the promos, during the monthly master, where you could buy um, the pass, the court pass or something like that for like 700 NBA cash. So that's what I'm assuming it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, like I said, if you guys want to check out the full video um, from Noob Kill or from Ski Games, those links are down below. Let me know what you guys feel about um, the new tip off promo coming tomorrow and the new live pass. I really like the live pass because you're able to get a whole bunch of rewards for your superstar player and all that good stuff just from doing objectives so i like that you know what i'm saying and if you want more rewards you can buy the live pass i'm probably not going to buy it a lot i might buy it on my main account it depends on how much it costs if it does cost cash then um 
we'll see we'll, we'll see i'm gonna stock up on some cash pretty soon so that i can open up some packs for you guys once season four drops so definitely stay tuned for that as always if you guys have not entered the giveaway already the link is down below so go ahead and enter the giveaway let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below season four drops tomorrow so stay tuned for road to the top the season premiere for season four and bro we're just gonna be dropping bangers every single day the grind does not stop you guys already know make sure to drop a like on this video let's try to smash a thousand likes on this video you guys already know um let me let me know your thoughts down in the comments below let me know what your overall was um at the end of season three i finished with a 109 overall no money spent and i finished with a 111 overall god squad account let me know what you guys finished uh with down in the comments below so yep drop a like on this video subscribe if you guys are new and y'all know the so much for the haters i'll see you guys later peace out